Same chapter, Matthew chapter 6. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 9. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I like this. Ending at verse 15. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That's praise. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's yielding, <laughs> giving up control. All right. I'm just, I'm just briefing you in in between with Pat's two cents for those of you who have a hard time understanding the Bible. Mm. Okay. Verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Now you're asking for your needs to be met. All right. Verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen to the condition there. As you forgive your debtors. Think on that for a minute. Okay, back to the word. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, you're acknowledging, you're asking him to, to shield you from temptation and to deliver you because the power is his. You're acknowledging who has all the power. That's good. Now listen to this. Verse 14 is the condition. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 15. But if ye, listen carefully, but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father in, excuse me, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Now, what are you going to do with that? When you look at people, you refuse to forgive. Here you are trying to walk in Christ, and Sister Appleseed got on your last nerve at the church business meeting. And you decided you're not even going to acknowledge her presence. No, she better not say anything to me. I do not appreciate how she disagreed with me in public. No, 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 no. I'm not playing that. As far as I'm concerned, she doesn't even exist in my book. And she better not ask me to forgive her. She knows she's wrong. But no, I'm not going to forgive her. No, why should I? Look what she said. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You really expect God to forgive you when you refuse to have mercy on others. You are all in the same bucket together. You are all a work in progress. You all <clears throat> fall short of the glory of God in every way. But you're looking at them as if their sins and shortcomings are way worse than yours. I don't think so. Don't even go there. That's a losing argument right there. Yeah. If you don't want to forgive, if everything in you wants to make them feel guilty and, and sorry and all of that, and as far as you're concerned, they did you wrong, baby, and you're never going to give them an opportunity to do you wrong again, Guess what? You better take a moment and say, Lord, nothing in me. Go on and be honest. Nothing in me wants to forgive them. But everything in you wants me to do so. So I am asking you what you got in you. Put that ability in me so that I can forgive. Help me to forgive that person. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Then watch him work. Now you have yielded your will and your rights over 
to his ways. Mm -hmm. God honors. He honors that. He honors your truthfulness, but he honors you turning it over to him. Amen? Amen.